In this video, we'll solve a mixture problem containing percentages. And to do that, we'll use two variables, two equations, and the elimination method. Soybean meal contains 45% crude protein, while corn contains 10% crude protein. A farmer wants 700 pounds of dry matter that contains 14% crude protein. How much soybean meal and corn will be needed? And just doing a little estimation before we actually set up and solve this problem, the mixture is at 14%. 14% is closer to the percentage of crude protein for the corn than the soybean. So estimates would be that we're going to have a lot more corn than soybean in this mixture. There's a lot of information here, so let's use a chart to help organize this information. We have the items listed here, soybean, corn, and the combined mixture. And using the information from the problem, it tells us that the combination of these two items will result in 700 pounds. We don't know how much soybean or corn was used, so we'll let variables stand for the weights of each of these. S for soybeans and C for the pounds of corn used in this mixture. Next, we're going to record the percentages. It tells us that the mixture will be a 14% crude protein and 14% converts into an equivalent decimal value of 14 hundredths. Likewise, this problem also told us the percentage for soybean, which is 45%, and corn, which we can fill in these two cells under our percentage. To find the pure CP, which is short for crude protein, we will take the gross amount times the percentage. And to illustrate that, so that you can see that, let's start at the bottom where we have numbers. We have 700 pounds of dry matter, which is 14% crude protein. So if we take 14% times 700, it will result in the crude protein, which is 98 pounds for the mixture. To fill in the pure crude protein for soybeans, we'll take 45% of the total weight of soybeans, which is represented here, 0.45 S. And likewise, we'll take the percentage crude protein times the total weight for the corn. To find our two equations, we'll use the information for the total weight, and we'll use the information for the pure crude protein. The Crude protein from the soybean plus that of the corn gives us the total crude protein of the mixture. So for the first equation, we'll take the weights of soybeans plus the weight of the corn will equal the weight of the total mixture. For the second equation, which we're using the values in the final column, we'll take the crude protein from the soybean plus the crude protein from the corn will equal the total mixture's crude protein. Here's our two equations. The first one again from the weights, the second from the percent of crude protein. Using the elimination method, we want to eliminate one or the other of the variables. And in this example, probably eliminating the C since 0.1 is a smaller number to deal with than 45 hundredths. We'll multiply each and every term in the first equation by 0.1. And so that it cancels out, we'll also include the negative so that we have opposite coefficients on our C terms so that they do, in fact, cancel out. Multiplying each and every term is the multiplication principle that ensures that we maintain equality. Using distributive and simplifying, we have an equivalent equation to the first one. We're now set to add the two equations together. 
And as you can see, we do have additive inverses so that our C's will cancel one another out, resulting in the following equation, which has one variable. The only thing to solve for that variable is to divide both sides by 35 hundredths, resulting in S equal to 80. We'll then use S equal 80 and substitute that value into one of the two equations. Here we've substituted it into the first equation so that in place of S we have 80. We now can solve for C by subtracting 80 from each side and find a value of 620 for C. To answer the problem then, we have the following solution. 80 pounds of soybeans and 620 pounds of corn are to be used in the mixture to derive the desired results.